Good evening, everyone. Welcome back. The Park Heritage Wolves had more work to do on the basketball court, where their season, like everyone else's, ended before the regionals. The foundation is there for a bright future. Let's look back on the year, get some final thoughts from head coach Rich Shelsky. Here's another basketball review. December 7, 2019, the Wolves hosting South Moran in the banks of the Wabash Championship. Christian Johnson would score 27, Connor Davis at 24, as the Wolves win the bank 68 to 42 the final. They would start the season 8-0 before suffering back-to-back -back losses to Northview and Marshall at the first financial Wabash Valley Classic. December 28th, day three of the Classic, it's Park and Robinson. Connor Davis and the Wolves would not be denied as they close out their portion of the tourney with a win. How about January 3rd? Park paying a visit to Clinton where Austin Petrillo says hello. Connor Davis would lead the way with 33 points as the Wolves beat the Wildcats again, this time with a final score of 63 to 53. January 24th, Wolves hosting North Vermillion. Christian Johnson would score 28 points. Connor Davis at a 19. Park improves to 13 and 3 on the season with a big win. And let's fast forward to March. Sectional championship game against North Putnam. Did you see this? Wolves freshman Christian Johnson drains this shot from beyond half court at the end of the quarter, giving Park a double-digit lead after one. They would never look back after that, winning the sectional in just their second year of existence, 61-49 to the final. They wrap up the high school basketball season 23-3. and I mean, this whole thing, not being able to be with your team, that's the hardest thing. I mean, you're contacting your team through social media to tell them that their season's over is, is that that that's the most frustrating part and it's nobody's fault it's just it's the way it is and you know so we're going you know obviously our guys are disappointed but we're going to make the best of it we have a lot of guys coming back so obviously this makes them i would hope hungrier but our seniors you know really did a great job of leading the team and some of them sacrificed playing time for younger guys to play in front of them and they were totally fine with it. So that's the first group of people that I really hurt for and the second group's our community because you know our our community got totally behind this team. It was gonna be a lot of fun to play the tournament out and see how many Park Heritage people were gonna show up at a game because, you know, Saturday night in the sectional championship when you looked over and saw about eighteen hundred people from Park Heritage there, it was a pretty comfortable feeling knowing that, you know, even though we weren't playing at home, it was kinda of like a home court. So those are the, those are the groups of people that I really, you know, hurt for, but we'll make the best of it. It's something that, you know, we always talk at least our team always talks about you can only control what you can control. And, you know, this was totally out of anyone's control. So I hate to use cliches, but it is what it is. And, you know, life throws you a curveball. you got to make the best of it. We will indeed. We will cherish this high school basketball season for sure. Thanks, Coach. That is a wrap for sports. More news to come after this.